including some endangered species. Well, anyway, in the middle of the afternoon, suddenly the old man stopped. And rather creakily, he bent over and with a quavering finger, he pointed to the red clay. And then he whispered, Moccasin Joe. Well, naturally, we all froze. And then we heard a noise. And it came closer and closer and closer. And suddenly, out of the bushes toddled a little cub bear. Shoot, you damn fool, shoot, yelled the old hunter. Well, I couldn't, I wouldn't, I didn't. And fortunately, the little thing toddled back into the thicket from whence it came. And I say fortunately, because if it had not, I am convinced that that old man would have clubbed it to death with his wooden staff right then and there. But we got a lot of publicity out of that, you see, because of the reporters present. And a cartoonist in Washington, D.C., made a cartoon showing the great white hunter <laughs> refusing to kill the little cub bear. Now, a fellow in Brooklyn, New York, saw the cartoon. He ran a toy store named of Mictum. And Mr. Mictum made a little brown plush bear with movable limbs and button eyes, and he called it Teddy's Bear. And he wrote me a letter asking permission to use my name, and I wrote back and said I couldn't imagine why my name would be of any value in the bear business. But <laughs> he certainly was welcome to it. Well, anyway, the idea caught on. My word, didn't it, though? I mean, <laughs> well, heavens, now, now we're all up to our gluteus maximus and teddy bears. <laughs> But you know, it is a charming, really honestly, objectively viewed, it's a charming toy. And